It's your fault that I can't pay my tab, you know. I wasn't ever supposed to come back here in the first place. I've spent the last 20 years knowing what fate had in store for me. And then you... Damn it. I thought I had my life figured out. I know. It's just... I wasn't always the man I am now. In my youth, I was quite the warrior. I fought beasts the size of trees, was celebrated by mortals and fae alike. When I was initiated into the Fate Weavers, I thought it was a reward for my good deeds. The first time I saw my own fate, I realized it was nothing but a curse. Naturally. But it wasn't a hero's death, like I'd always assumed. It was a coward's death, old and alone, like any mortal. I tried to avoid it, but I knew it'd find me. It was terrible, but I knew it was part of fate's greater plan. Then you came and changed that future. You stole my part in the tapestry. I was at peace with knowing the worst. But what do I do now that there's nothing to know? I don't doubt your intentions. Just realize that we fate weavers have long accepted that the reason for some things were beyond our understanding. Not everyone would trust your intentions or your foresight. Your freedom means living with a lot of responsibility. I can't help you with that. But maybe this will help lessen the other dangers you face. Take it with my thanks. Why, I once tracked the Yeth of Avgrun on a moonless night by smell alone. Fay or not, I could have tracked those Tawatha sober. They've set up in a cavern north of town, complete with some way of scrying your location. That's how they found you so easily. I have a plan, but it'll take the both of us to work. These soldiers were sent out with one purpose. Finding you and making sure you stay dead. Everything else, the well, Arden, Hughes, have all been collateral damage. They're using something big to track you. They call it the Eyes of Tiernock. Smash it, and they won't be following you anymore. The main entrance is heavily guarded and will require a strong attack. The other route is trapped. It'll need a subtler approach. Straightforward and direct. A warrior after my own heart. I'll cover the back and make sure they can't escape to report back to whoever sent them here. Let's track down some trouble. Aye. This is the front entrance. You'll face their strongest guards, so it's no place for subtlety. Find their scrying mirror and smash it. I'll slip in the back and make sure none of them escape. Good luck. I'll see you in some... Ugh. Uh. 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 
Can you tell me the difference between a creature of nature and a child? yourself we children of nature know our roles meek and mighty prey and predators life and death all serve the cycle you children of dust do not know your place you come into our land you come to face your hunters and you you don't know when to die You shall learn. In time, all mortals will know the might of Gadflow. Blessed herald of the merciful Tiernock, all mortals end. Even if some are more persistent than others. <laughs> At least the Tawatha won't be able to track you so easily now. But it looks like you've got the personal attention of their king, Gadflow. If you were anyone else, I'd suggest you start running and not stop for a few years. But you might just have a chance. You're a mortal who survived death. You exist outside of fate. The Fae do not deal well with change, and you represent a threat to whatever has driven them to this war. But not all Fae are your enemies. I heard the High King wanted to meet you. Immortal or not, he's not someone you want to keep waiting. I might even see you there, if the old boy still remembers me. We should be able to get out this way. Don't start trouble. High King Tetarian is waiting for you. Please place the Codex before Speak him, and he will continue. Codex.
Conceived in chaos, birthed in stolen magic, torn from fate, child of two fathers, treacheries in treacheries. Winter is broken. The puppet king upon his throne, drinking flattery and lies. The power that grows in him is not his own. <laughs> in the east it did begin, as it will end. Screams, madness and rage, madness and rage. We realize this may be confusing for you. Fate, like the Fey, cannot be changed. But the Tuatha are Fey who have become something new. And you are a mortal who is free from fate's weave. Gadflow claims that the Tuatha are the work of his new god. If the Tuatha are the creations of a god, what does that make you? The power of a god in the brash hands of a mortal. This is why Nirolim fears what you might become. This age has seen much change. Change we once thought was impossible. We were wrong. You are intertwined with the power in the East. There can be no doubt of that. Your energy reaches back to Alabastra. We do not know what will happen when you travel there, but we know that the power behind Gadflow is your ultimate goal. His God holds your answer and the fate of this world. I thank you. And perhaps you can help change our world's fate as well. I have seen those who were destined to be heroes, for whom great deeds came naturally. They come, they act, and they pass on as written. You do great things not because you must, but because you choose to. That is by far a far truer greatness. Admirable. But strength of will cannot see you through this alone. You may be unbound by fate, but you are not free from death. Speak with your allies. Only with their aid can you hope to overcome the forces that stand against you. The weave is a puzzle. Each person is a piece. The edges of their fate locking together with the people around them, all performing their duties to form a grand picture. However, you are no longer a puzzle piece. You are a dollop of paint. You cover and redefine the edges of the puzzle pieces you meet. But more dangerously, you repaint the picture of reality itself. Who can trust that your design is better than the original? It is the deepest tragedy that our fall should come from our own. Make no mistake, Gadflow is the harbinger of the end of my kind. In fighting him and his army, you will surely spell our doom. For that tragic truth, we forgive you. Who would have thought you were so interesting? Death seems to have worked out very well for you. Agarth's looking for a scape. Neerolim's looking for a savior. And Tatarian is looking for a champion. And somehow, you're giving everyone what they want. 
I'm impressed. You're right. This won't be easy. The two Arthur have our forces under siege at Mel Sanchea, and their power has only grown over the years. You'll need more help than just me and that old fate weaver. You'll need an army. A few years ago, one warrior could have slipped past unnoticed. But stealth is no longer an option. Not even for me. But there is hope. In the plains of Erethel, there waits a player who has been away from this game for far too long. It is time to contact General Talera. Meet me in the village of Emer, and I will tell you everything. Be on your way. <laughs>